Good afternoon, guys. I'm sorry if uh, the camera's not quite focused on me. I'm doing my best, being visually impaired. But I wish all of you the best under these unprecedented times we are all going through. It's going to be nice to finally get back at school and see all of you. Well, hear all of you. <laughs> anyway, this is a little story about the world of discrimination and what we all go through being a minority in the disabled world. I came back from the CNIB Lake Joseph camp for the blind in 2018, all fired up, ready to work. I, I, I want to get out there, I want to work. And I've got a lot of dedication and motivation to do so. So what most people do is they try to get a job in the area they are skilled in. So my skills come from culinary when I was graduating high school. I love to cook. I'm food safety certified. So I tried to get a job at Red Lobster as well, the keg and the ice sports up by the college. And when I talked to the guy on the phone, he was hesitant when I told him off the hop that I was legally blind and I'm just looking for an opportunity to show my skill. But he right away thought, how can this blind person work in a kitchen? How can he cook? There's many things we can do that people don't know. It's ignorance and under education anyways. So he said he will talk to his manager, but most, most likely because the POS system, which is the order system for the cook to read to know what to cook for the customer. You have to read it on the fly. So he basically was looking for a sighted person. I go through this all the time. I never got a second interview with the keg and Red Lobster said, I will hire you on your skill and merit, not because you are visually impaired. And I thought if that were the case, I would have had a job because I am very skilled and have a lot of merit in that industry. But this is something I go through all my life. Just like through disability, wanted employment services. They paid a part of my wage to be able to get us out into the community to get restaurants to hire us. The shrimp cocktail wanted me, after working a whole shift, to come back for a six week unpaid position and then decide whether he will keep me or not. After that, I said, that's not it didn't make me feel very good so I left wanted employment said Eric there's a job that hasn't gone through our system yet at the sweet tomato I ran up there with my resume and I got the job we have to be dedicated and motivated but it's a hard world that we live in and I will advocate for every 6.9 million Canadian out there as why I am also on the accessibility board at college be safe to all of you. I can't wait to be back at school next September in the social structure, the social fabric. Thank you. Be well to everyone.